Commissioner Larry Scott and the Pac-12 Conference should alternate the host city for the annual football championship game between Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas and SoFi Stadium in Los Angeles to increase attendance and boost excitement around an event that has experienced lackluster results since it moved to a neutral site in 2014. We first have to address the reason for the change. The Pac-12 championship game has been played at Levi's Stadium in Santa Clara the past six seasons, and the largest attendance was only 85% capacity, and that was when local school Stanford won in 2015. The 2018 game between UW and Utah only brought in 35,000 fans, 51% capacity. For the 2018 championship game, the Pac-12 gifted local companies around San Jose large quantities of free tickets to boost optics during the nationally televised game. Luckily, the conference sold the broadcast rights to ESPN and Fox, who alternate the annual broadcast, bringing in some revenue to make up for the minimal attendance. There are many reasons for the struggles at Levi Stadium, but the location seems to stand out. Though Santa Clara is technically geographically central to all Pac-12 campuses, it really isn't necessarily a travel destination, especially in relation to other cities on the West Coast. Travel time from San Francisco or Oakland on Friday night can be upwards of an hour and a half. The Pac-12 generated the second lowest revenue out of Power 5 conferences in both 2018 and 2019, mostly due to their current TV rights deal maturing in 2024. So with these financial struggles and a potential 2020 football season holdout, additional revenue and disposable income would be hugely beneficial for the conference right now. Commissioner Larry Scott announced that the 2020 and 21 championship games will be held at Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas after experiencing massive success with both the men's and women's basketball tournaments relocating to the Sin City. 2020 will be the Raiders' inaugural season in the new stadium, so it's perfect timing for the Pac-12 to host there. That was until the global pandemic hit and forced the conference to redesign their schedule. Now the first championship game in Las Vegas will be after the 2021 season and follow up in 2022 as well. This is still a work in progress as health conditions are constantly evolving and as the conference works to negotiate with the players threatening to hold out. Larry Scott's decision to move the championship game to Las Vegas was an obvious one, as it is an ideal host city for a college football fan, especially on the West Coast. It's centrally located, easy to fly into, has unlimited entertainment options, and now has a brand new state-of-the-art, technologically advanced football stadium. This was a no-brainer. But I think the conference can do even better while still incorporating Allegiant Stadium. There is no venue set for 2023 and any years following. Larry Scott should consider using another brand new state-of-the-art football stadium a couple hours west in another easily accessible large market city with SoFi Stadium in Los Angeles. 2021 and 22 are currently slated for Las Vegas championship games, both presented by 76. Allegiant Stadium has a capacity of 65,000 with 127 suites and 8,000 club seats. The games will be broadcasted on ESPN in 21 and Fox in 22 and is held on the Friday of championship weekend. The 2023 championship game should be held at SoFi Stadium with 70,000 seats in a different market and new corporate customers to fill its 240 suites and 13,000 premium seats. ESPN will get the broadcast and lucky for them will only require a short drive from their West Coast headquarters in downtown LA. SoFi Stadium is already in the same city as two Pac-12 teams and directly next to LAX, giving fans easy access to the venue. The stadium sits on a plot of land three times bigger than Disneyland, giving the Pac-12 a great campus for hosting ancillary events and weekend festivities, not to mention all the other surrounding attractions LA has to offer. For the fans, two separate venues will give local fans in both LA and Vegas the opportunity to easily experience a conference championship game, and it will give fans from all over a chance to visit two separate newly built stadiums in two unique destinations. Football fans and casual travelers will enjoy having the option to visit either or both of the host cities. For the teams, administratively and logistically, planning the LA championship game would be simple as they already have potentially two away games in this city every season. And obviously, if USC or UCLA is participating, they would only have a short drive to the venue, cutting costs and travel time. ESPN would be a big winner if the Pac-12 adopted this model as they would be broadcasting the game from their own backyard. Fox would also experience benefits since they would be operating their biannual broadcast from the same venue every two years. This alternating host city model would not impact either network as they conduct their planning and operations.
Now for the conference. The Pac-12 could generate additional revenue from adding a whole new set of regional sponsorships and the increased exposure that comes with it. 76 is currently the presenting sponsor of each championship game through 2023, but the conference could potentially sign separate deals with two different sponsors, one for each city moving forward. The Pac-12 would also have the opportunity to double their premium seating partners as they can tap into the new local LA market to add 40 suites and 13,000 premium seats to their current corporate partners in Vegas, buying up the 127 suites and 8,000 premium seats, increasing exposure spreading across two major regions. The conference would also be reaching two separate types of fans with this move, the first being a local resident in either LA or Vegas who wouldn't attend the game if it wasn't held in their hometown, the other being a fan who wouldn't necessarily attend the game two years in a row if it was held in the same venue, but now will because they want to experience both venues and both cities. And finally, the cities. Allegiant Stadium already hosts all UNLV home games as well as the Las Vegas Bowl with a Pac-12 team participating every year. SoFi will host the LA Bowl, also including one Pac-12 team, so both stadiums will host at least one Pac-12 postseason game every year regardless. The Pac-12 has two of the newest and most anticipated football venues in two popular destinations within its geographical reach and should take full advantage of both. This Las Vegas and Los Angeles alternating championship model would benefit all parties involved and bring excitement back to a conference that desperately needs it.